Okay. On this episode of Dr. Phil, we're going to mend the torn relationship between father and son. Now, Dr. Victor Frankenstein shuns away his own creation because I guess the sight of dead flesh suddenly sparking back to life is just too much for him. <laughs> Let's do it. Coming up. Let's do it. I want you to get excited about your life. Here we go, in 10. Stand by, camera 6. If it's happening now, we're going to deal with it now. Stand by, Dr. Phil. This is going to be a changing day in your life. I'm taking people with real problems and moving them into the Dr. Phil house. The second he showed the vital signs of life, I just became instantly sick and full of the regret. No one could care for a spawn so hideous. He's a monster. <laughs> it's alive! Now, today coming on the show, we have the creator himself, Dr. Victor Frankenstein. Well, thanks for having me on the show, Doctor. Now, I want to know what your problem is. How could you abandon something you created? Your own son. Your own creation. Now, now if I could have a third doctor. He's not my son. He's a monster. He's gross. He's ugly. Who could love such a beast? Boo. I want to know what were you thinking when you made this creation? I'm Dr. Victor Frankenstein. I can do what I want. I'm a chemist. I'm a scientist. I think you don't understand the value of a human life. But that's okay. We have a very special guest. Please welcome Dr. Professor Waldman. Thank you, thank you. Now, now, you are the doctor at Ingolstadt that I believe was the fountain of inspiration for the aspiring doctor here. Yes, I was. I believe so. Now, walk us through the process about how you became the number one inspiration. We're Dr. Frankenstein here. As soon as Dr. Frankenstein walked into my classroom, I saw that he was a aspiring student. And I taught him my ways, I lent him my books, and taught him how to use the machines. So I guess you're the one to blame. I'm just You're the one uh, no, responsible please. for him creating this poor soul, this creature, his spawn, and abandoning it. Abandoning it. I'm just a chemistry teacher, professor at a university, and that's it. That's okay. That's okay, because there is no doubt more than one source of inspiration for Dr. Frankenstein here. Please welcome Alphonse, Papa Frankenstein. Thank you for having me on the show. Now I want to know why your son is acting out in this fashion. I have no idea. Now, my turn to talk. My turn to talk. My daddy, he used to tell me, my daddy, he always used to say, Dr. Phil, if this is a problem with you, it's got to be a reason for me. You understand where I'm coming from here? I understand where I'm coming from, but my boy had a great childhood. I took him to many of the exotic places. And you would say these exotic places, were they a positive influence? Or? Of, of course I would say that. You would say that? Yes. Well, that's interesting, because I guess that brings up the question of whether or not he earned these traits of acting out in this fashion from growing up, or maybe he was just born this way. Who knows? He, he is a, he's a Frankenstein. He was born a Frankenstein, and he is a Frankenstein. Well, I guess we'll find out after the break. Coming up. What up? Are you ready for the best idea ever? Do you have muscles? Not even more muscles. Well, guess what? We got a great idea for you. Alright, just get out of my birthday. Bite milk! First energetic dairy based protein drink. Stop. Made for bodyguards! Bye, bodyguards! I drink it every morning so I can fight like a crow. 
Fight milk! Protein! Milk! Made fresh by bodyguards and bros. What up? Watch your muscle mass soar high as a crow! Coming up. Now, Doctor, I want you to deal with the monster right here. This creature that you created. How do you feel? Well, I know deep down in your heart you still love me. And I know deep down in my heart I still love you. I love you, Dad. <laughs> We'll be right back. Thank you for joining us on Dr. Phil. Coming up. What do you How sick was the party yesterday, bro? It was good. Yeah, it was so sick. Yeah, I don't remember. I chewed so many of these last night. What are those? Dude, what are those? These are toothpicks. Dude, let me get one. The no, best ones ever. The main toothpicks? Here, try one. Pass that. Here you go. Get it out. Good yeah, it good, you know. When you're deploying this stuff, you want to take these out? Mm. Today, I'm Dr. Phil. We learned a lesson today about father and son mending together. Now, I hope this episode today sticks with you for the rest of your life. I hope today it was life changing. And real quick, I would like to promote, you read my book, Dr. Phil McGraw, Real Life. And also a thank you to our very special main sponsor, Fight Milk. I drink it every day so I can fight like a crow and toothpicks. Coming up.